हाईलाइट चैनल ऑफ द रणवीर शो दिस इज टी आर एस क्लिप्स Just the fact that you've been captain by MS Dhoni is a dream for every yeah. single guy in India. I do realize that yeah. in some form, like I know people who want to do business with MS Dhoni who'd literally give half of the startup <laughs> to him just for the sake of yeah. him uh, mentoring them. Yeah. That's how much MS is like respected. Yeah. What's it actually like being literally mentored by him, dude? Um, yeah, you. I mean. I've realized much later once that he's retired and like now he's not part of the dressing room. You realize the the presence of that man and the greatness that that was part of him. And like like you said, I I know that it it's probably every every cricket lover's dream to be in that dressing room and like be captained by M S Dhoni. And yeah, he's is very simple in his approach. What you see is what you get. um and even on the field like you know he is very calm it's not that he's just being that way even off the field is really calm very balanced in in everything that he does um yeah he can he like i said he has ways of building a relationship with each person like the bond that he creates he has his own way um and he will know he will know what's happening with with each individual like personally and like in his game or what he's thinking he he knows he knows everything about everybody and that's what i think uh made him such a good leader like he he knew how to how to get the best out of each person okay. also because he knew so much about each person who was he as a guy like beyond the captaincy yeah. what do you think in his character made him other than the calm nature and uh good people skills and the one thing i've learned through these episodes is he was very intuitive that he knew yeah. moments before they happened yeah was there anything else according to you mm, i mean yeah people forget how skilled he was he was like extremely um skilled player as well um and had a great great understanding of of the game and how it's going to play out like mm. you said he was one step ahead all the time and and also i mean i I think he said this to me also a lot of times that like a lot of people say this right trust your gut trust your gut as a captain and and that's something he did like as a leader or as a as a as a person in general I think the first first thought that you get we always sometimes question it right he never questioned it if he thought that if he had a like a gut feel about a certain thing or certain change that he had to make he would never try to um question it or second guess it he did it whether it went well or didn't go well and think um that's what helped him in in a lot of ways like that's why he was also like very unorthodox in a lot of ways people didn't understand a lot of things but it was his gut feel and he trusted it and over time that's why i think he's gotten results he never second guessed anything that he did or his decisions he felt it he did it and yeah like okay. you said intuitive when he Yeah. So these are playlists made especially for you. We've tailor-made learning experiences for you. The RS Clips.